Hey everybody, today I'm going to do the app review on Ringer, Ringtone Maker. So this is the app icon right there. So what this does is it lets you make ringtones for your Mac that you can put, especially put on your iPhone. And um, so it's also available on the iPhone app too. Um, but I decided to get the one to review it on the Mac because um, I, have, I have all my music on here and not all songs are on my iPhone right here. <clears throat> Actually not all songs are this is on my 4S. I have most of my songs on my 5 though. But um, as you can see this is pretty much it. You can choose a song to drag right here and um, also on the sidebar. You can choose from songs, artists, albums, movies, TV shows, playlists, and then ringtones assorted, classic, arcade, and ringtone feeder. So let me just choose a um, song here. You choose the song, you have your list of songs right here. And so I'll pick one, I'll be right back. So after you select a song, like what I've done right here, you can this blue part right here this is where your ringtone is going to be recorded you grab this gray box and you move it to go find the part of the song that you would like and then if you want a ringtone that's longer than um, you have on here just click this right here and then drag it to make your thing longer what I like right here at the bottom is that it tells you how long it is 19.6 seconds you can preview it to make sure you have the right thing you can create it and it's so simple to create. You just click that create button automatically opens iTunes right there. And then you go to your tones tab sidebar on the side and it's just right there. It's that easy. And so if you have a song that you like, you never have to play. <clears throat> you never have to buy a ringtone again. So if you want to preview the song, you just click the play button right there. I won't play it because it's copyrighted. So um you have a couple features right here. You have fade in mode, fade out mode, and a gap in the song. So you just pick your part right here. And what I like is that if you go out, it will follow it also. So one tip for making ringtones is that you want it to be about 30 seconds. That's good enough right there. You can preview the song right here, which I'll do. Like, um, which I can do and then you just click create it automatically opens up iTunes right there you can see it bounced and then it just started playing right now I can't play that right now because it's copyrighted so <clears throat> like I said you go into your tones tab right here it's on your sidebar click that and then you can see it's right there look at that in focus right there the top one and it's and for proof, oops, there is the, yeah, there is the song right there. One more feature that I forgot to mention about is right here. You can share your favorite ringtone on Twitter and Facebook. And also you can choose how loud you want the music to be by dragging this bar at the bottom. Also, that little three lines right there, you can make the this section bigger and move into this section. And if you want a song, you can filter them by a certain type right here, which is <clears throat> nice. And then, so, um, yeah, so this is pretty much it. The, um, so this app is available in the Mac App Store for $3.99. <clears throat> and that might be a little steep of a price, but just think, if you make... If you have a hundred songs, you have fifty that you like, you make fifty ringtones for your phone. And then that's just fifty songs you make. I think each ringtone is like maybe about uh, I think dollar twenty nine, which is the price of a song, really. So it's a ripoff. So like you can make like so this app is like pretty much the price of like three ringtones, which really when you think about it, that's a really good deal. So you have unlimited ringtones as long as you own that song and you just get that ringtone and um, I've been using my 4S for um, oops. I've been using my 4S for a while now or a little bit since after I've got my 
um, iPhone 5. And as you can see, I got this app the other day, and I still, I already have two, so I already have two ringtones right there. So, um, <clears throat> so I, this isn't even my main phone that I use, and I still have that ringtone on it. So that's how much I love this app. You can um, even record your own, and you can record on voice memos on your iPhone, sync it up to iTunes on your Mac, open it on here. Then, like if you say you're getting a text, you can make that, put it on um, iTunes, sync it to your phone, and every time you get a text, it'll just say you're getting a text, which is really cool. And um, so, yeah, this app is really cool. I love it so much. And um, 399 the Mac App Store, I'll have a link in the <laughs> down in the description below for that app. And I want to have a special thanks to the people who sent me this app for you. I love it so much. Anyway, this is the app review on Ringtone Maker. Thanks for watching.